English translation, 96th contact. Wednesday, 21st December, 1977, 1953H, Rs. I cannot believe it. Finally, someone comes to inform us about the state of affairs around Simyase. I do not think that is very nice, because Quetzal promised me, first of all, that he would inform us immediately about any changes in Simyase, his state of health. However, he has not kept that promise, which I feel is a breach of confidence. If you make a promise, then it should be kept, under all circumstances. I am almost struck by the idea that people deliberately did not come here and did not inform me. I also do not think it is very nice that someone I do not even know is standing in front of me. Even if a message of bad news has to be delivered, it would probably be better if someone I know came along. I am probably unknown to you, that is true, but things do not lie quite as you present them. So you can know me, I will tell you that I am Isados and that I have no bad news to give you, as you said earlier. The meaning of my coming to you is the opposite of what you said, because my message will delight you. The past events around Simia say may have caused thoughts and feelings of concern in you, which is why you probably think in this form and talk to me like this. This is understandable to me, and I therefore have no grudge against you. No bad news, you say? Man, do not fiddle. Tell me frankly and freely what happened, because I have known since Tuesday, two o'clock in the morning. You speak very confusedly. This may only be the result of your concern for Simya Se, Tapti Adam Diu, but you can now free yourself from it, because her condition has improved so much since noon today that there are no longer any concerns about her health and recovery. Man, that is the meanest thing you could say. You know as well as I do that the girl is no longer there because she visited the afterlife area last Monday. On what grounds do you explain this? Do you actually assume that we Earth humans are still cave dwellers? I know damn well Simyase is dead because I tried to get to the bottom of things. It just did not make sense to me that Quetzal came here from Era just to ask me about the incidents that happened with Simyase. That was really illogical because if Quetzal had asked someone from the station to question me about what had happened, it would have taken less than an hour for him to know. Instead, however, he took the trouble to make a seven-hour trip here, to fritter away almost an hour with me and then take on another seven-hour flight to Era. These, his actions, clearly prove that Quetzal had completely lost his head and therefore acted illogically. But this could only be because he was extremely weighed down by worries and problems he could not come to terms with. But these worries and problems, which were also written in his face because he was chalk white from sorrow, he was not able to bring under control and manage. Consequently, he acted absolutely illogically. I knew that he had truthfully explained Sim Yase's findings to me, but in his very objective manner, despite all his worries and problems, that a false impression had to arise. But I did not let this fool me and suddenly I knew damn well that Quetzal was hiding something from me. Namely that the girl was in a much worse position than he wanted to make me believe with his self-imposed objectivity. I... He did not want to worry you unnecessarily and not to be concerned because... Now I am talking, man, do not interrupt me. You see, Quetzal's headless behavior led me to send my spiritual consciousness on a journey, which I did on the night of 19th to 20th December, Monday to Tuesday, at 2 o'clock in the morning. What I saw almost shattered me, and at first I could not believe it at all. It took me many hours to finally accept what I saw, but this does not mean that I can understand it, because for me it is, and remains, incomprehensible. I saw Sim. You are capable of the spiritual consciousness travel? What do you think would have made me see everything else? Maybe through imaginations and dreams? I didn't know that you were capable of using this power. Then you are badly informed. Nor are we Earth humans all stupid and uneducated, as you probably mistakenly imagine. I am too little informed about this, but I was not informed about this ability of yours. 
So explain to me what you found on your journey. First I left for Era, where I... You were, I must be informed more exactly about you. This results in completely new perspectives for me regarding your person. Did you think you were dealing with the last monkey from the jungle? By the way, what are you always fiddling about with your funny belt device? I was not sufficiently informed about you, so I imagined you to be very helpless and ignorant. In this respect, I must expand my meager knowledge about you and your abilities and your knowledge. One can be mistaken, my son. It also seems to me that you are not familiar with our conditions here. What are you fiddling with at your funny device again? What does that thing represent? This device is a translator. I need it because I do not understand your language. Also, I have never been here on this planet before, so I do not know the conditions here. Fine, at least now I know. Listen now. So I sent my spiritual consciousness to Era and found a rather strange building there, which somehow magically attracted me. So I penetrated into a room that seemed to me like a supermodern operating theater. There were various containers, which seemed to me like glass shrines, but equipped with all kinds of possible and impossible devices and apparatuses. All but one container were empty. In the occupied one, Simya Se lay completely undressed and obviously deep frozen, dead. Her head lay in a horseshoe-shaped opaque apparatus, which is why I was only able to see her face exactly. She was indeed completely lifeless, and her brain was without any reaction. There was truly no doubt, and I cannot be deceived, for spiritual consciousness can never be deceived in any form. But now you come here and dare to say that Simya say as well. How dare you make such an assertion? You convince me by describing the space. It saddens me very much that you have seen these concerns. The following time, until now, must have been very hard for you. Now I really understand your aggressive behavior towards me, which only results from your very deep sadness. It saddens me that you had to take these very difficult hours and days on yourself, and this only because from our side too little attention was given to your feelings. If this had not happened, you would also have been much better informed about the state of true concerns. Obviously, however, no one expected that you would undertake a spiritual consciousness journey through space and time into our dimension, in the deepest concern, in order to give you clarity. But be confident, for I did not come here to tell you untruths, but to inform you of the present state of affairs. Simya say does not dwell in the afterlife, as you say, but she is doing very well again, and... I do not understand. Say that again, I guess I misheard? Your understanding was very good. Sim Yase is among us, and she is doing very well under all circumstances. Man, is that really the truth? You are making me man if that is the truth. I am going crazy. It is the whole truth. But listen, it is of correctness, in every detail, what you have gained in knowledge through your spiritual consciousness travels. Only, the concerns are somewhat different than you presumed to recognize them as. It is the truth that Simya say was dead when you found her. Her brain was so badly injured that there was no hope of being able to sustain her life. Our scientists were also unable to help her, which is why her physical existence was slowly being marked by death. She was therefore placed in a deep coma in the container you found her in only a few minutes before her life was finally extinguished. Through the intravenous supply of various substances, her body was put into a rigid and deep frozen state in a few fractions of a second which immediately extinguished her physical life, but only for a predetermined period of time during which her spiritual form did not escape from her, 
for in this state of resurrection possibility, the latter clings in a stagnant form to the organic locality assigned to her, namely in the brain area. Only after the resuscitation of the body does it automatically put aside its stagnation and push itself back to activity. While Simyase was prepared for a later resuscitation, her father Ptaz tried to help her in the Dial universe with Asket, whom you should know. But this help was not able to be given by the people in the other universe either, which is why Asket sought help from a human life form race in her universe that was 4,000 years more advanced, which she actually found and received there. From there, several scientists came to ERA and took Simya's say. In a lengthy process, the destroyed brain parts of Simya's say were removed. The frozen brain acids were inserted into artificially generated new plasma protonal brain parts and directly reconnected to the brain after which a rapid healing process allowed the artificial and natural plasmas to grow together and the skull could be closed again, which was then regenerated by a rapid process. This made everything the same as before, and nothing ever again indicates that these events clouded many things. Sim Yase will have no memory of it, not even of the 42-hour duration, since she was dead. Her knowledge only reappears there when she has awakened after the intervention, but also where she fell to the ground, according to your Quetzal. Everything will be as it has always been, her knowledge and perhaps also all her ability will be the same, and she will perhaps have neither disadvantages nor any losses. Only the time and events between the beginning of her coma and her reawakening will not be familiar to her. Unfortunately, however, it will be the case that she will not be allowed to make any efforts in the near future, which is why she will not be able to come to the Earth, which may take several months. This action was also only taken on her because she is trained for special and very long-term tasks and has not yet completed a third of her life. A new education and preparation for her task would take too much time and there would also be deficiencies that could not be remedied, because only Simya Say has stored these particular concerns in her knowledge. Now console yourself with the fact that she leaves and that you shall see her again without any change. For the time being, however, she needs extreme calm, which is why you should not urge her to reunite with you. Man, I am not doing that. I'm already happy, happy, and content that everything is all right again. Even if she may not come here for many months, as you say, that does not change anything. The main thing is that she is there and lives. Man, you bring me news. That is fabulous. Man, that is so wonderful. Tell her my dear greetings and assure her. I have saved everything, so she will hear your voice. Man, you are good. You are doing great. Greet her very dearly from me, but also from all our group members who also care a lot about her. How do you think they will all be so happy about this fantastic good news? I will write Simya say a long letter. Man? You are overwhelmed. It is probably better if I leave now. Do that. I have to tell the others as soon as possible. Goodbye. You are very strange in your feelings. You give a free rein to your feelings so openly. It is to me 